we want everything now. We want everything quick. We, you know, when life is everything but that. Um, marriage is, we have to understand that marriage is never 50-50. Um, and, you know, you, you sort of wonder how that idea kind of got out there. Um, I have found that if you stick with it, you know, over the course of your entire relationship, you may have 50-50 over time. Mm. But if I look over my marriage, if I were to judge it in year five or year 10, there was never 50-50. Somebody was always giving way more. Someone always needed a different kind of thing. You have to evolve with it. Um, and so, yeah, there were times when I felt like I was 70% in and he was doing 30%. Um, but I think that, and, and I've had to compromise uh, as he has. I've had to, because of the choices that I made in the terms of how I wanted our family to look, yeah. I had to take my foot off of my career gas pedal, uh, never putting on the brake, but slowing up a little bit. Um, those are the natural compromises that are required. And I feel bad when I see young people giving up on their relationships mm -hmm. because there's there are periods of hard their periods of discomfort. Um, the, as I have told young people who ask me about marriage, I was like, you have to be prepared to have long stretches of discomfort. Mm -hmm. And long, I mean, it could last for years. Uh, and don't put kids into the equation because that's just another layer of complication. You love them to death, but they will shake your marriage up and turn you both upside down. <laughs> Uh, so I think it's important for us to be honest in those conversations, not to glamorize what a partnership feels like, because then uh, young people quit too soon. Mm -hmm. They quit before they've really, you know, played out the full scenario. Um, so Very interesting for the former first lady, Michelle Obama, to speak on this and get some behind the scenes, which we kind of already knew you know, where she was coming from in terms of that and what it was like coming up with Barack and their ascension to, you know, becoming this this power couple, this power black family that every black family should aspire to be like. But uh, she said something important, which I'm going to get into, you know, because we got it. We got a little bit to unpack here. But before we do, listen, guys, it's your favorite everything. JR Wisdom. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this, man. Let's run it up to 100,000. I keep saying it. Quit playing with me. Listen, man, Michelle Obama. Attorney. Married to Barack Obama. From the shy. But she said something, as I said, which I, I, I find to be very interesting, but I don't agree with it completely. You know, we things have changed. There's been an evolution in terms of marriage. You know, we tend to romanticize marriage via weddings and real housewives of Atlanta and all this stuff y'all see on there. And guys are pretty much the ones who are really saying the whole 50 50 thing. Right. You know, that's that's what we that's what we typically see saying it. You feel me? It's not really so much the ladies. Ladies, for the most part, want a guy to do a hundred percent, but she wasn't specific and that's kind of getting into financial stuff, right? The bread and butter, the money. But when we talking about having a living as a cohesive unit corresponding with one another, one person picking up the other slack as you get old, then yeah. It's not always going to be that way. Sometimes you're not going to be you and your partner aren't always going to be feeling the same. You and your your wife, husband, whatever it all every day is. You're not going to wake up with grapes in your mouth, for lack of a better term. There's going to be some things. There's going to be some unexpected things that happen. But that doesn't mean you be like Celie and Mr. in the color purple and endure years of trauma, which is something that she said. She didn't necessarily say trauma, but. You endure years of basically some BS that you may be putting up with. Nobody is anybody's footstool at the end of the day. And when it comes to marriage, 50-50, it all depends. You know, I have my idea on how a husband should be. And I've, I've stated this several times. A lot of guys don't agree with it. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't get married. I feel like a man should be the provider, right? A man should be able to provide for his family. 
his kids, and whatever kids you may have in the future. If not, you shouldn't get married. Plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? We talk, we complain so much about women being masculine, but you want, you know, a lot of you guys complain about, you know, women aren't doing enough. But if that woman doesn't mean you have to stay with that woman. If you know that you're contributing more to this situation outside of financial, you're, you're listening to all her problems. All she does is talk about her problems. You're paying for everything. She's just sitting at home. It's just like you're raising another child. And that's not the type of marriage you want to be in. Especially if it's solely based on sex and beauty. Like Javon Clark said, Modern Masculine Man, sex should be ultimately at the bottom of the list. Over time. It is very important. Don't get me wrong. When I say list, I'm not talking about a list of a hundred things, right? I'm talking about you have your short list of things that's important, which men, we tend to say that it is loyalty. We want loyalty from a woman. We want cooperation. We want commitment as well with that loyalty. So we I don't mean loyalty because I don't mean commitment in terms of because a lot of you guys, the first thing you're going to say is commitment in terms of that's that's a term that women use. But commitment in terms of when things get hard, you aren't just going to run off. You just, you're not just here just for uh, a good time only. When things get hard, you don't just bail out. If I lose my job or if I get hurt or injured or things like that, even though as men now nowadays, we should put things in place. That if something happens to us untimely, we have a nest egg to be able to provide for our family. But as she said, guys, we go into and men too. I'm going to have a beautiful wife. I'm going to have some beautiful kids. Uh, the, the, the castle over the mountain that comes with the bridge. And it's not always like that. Sometimes you will have arguments. Sometimes she's going to be depressed. Sometimes you're going to be depressed. But that's why you have this partner to pick you up during those times. To speak life into you. It's not just a one-way thing. It's not just a unilateral relationship. Which a lot of people get that confused even there's been talks of um a woman should stay you take your vows a woman should stay regardless of whatever and vice versa a man should stay regardless of whatever happens whether you putting your hands on her you going to sleep with a woman that has black eyes you you, you you're basically just calling her all she's she's enduring all types of verbal abuse and i'm just talking about from the abuse standpoint Right. That she should stay because she married you when you know you wouldn't want your daughter living like that. And likewise, ladies, you think a man just has to sit there and just basically take care of you and you don't do anything. You give him lip when he tries to communicate. If he wants his sexual desires aren't being met, you know, he's a man, you know, buddy's testosterone is through the roof. You know, you know, if he's providing and cooking I'm not cooking. If he's providing, he's keeping the the upkeep of the house. He's fixing things, making sure the car, you have a car to be able to uh, go from point A to point B. And I'm not saying you need to be in a Rolls Royce and living in this huge mansion, but providing the basics and knowing that he's speaking life into you. He's loving you. He's supporting you. He's basically there for you, contributing to the family, helping out and things like that. But somehow you find a way to say that he's not doing enough which is wrong or you see another man the hypergamous mindset sets in and this your girlfriend start talking to you or they you start trying to keep up with these other friends of yours or her husband did this he did this why don't you do this when knowing that that's not what you fell in love with this guy for originally but you you're looking at this other couple as the ideal your girlfriend is doing this she's going to trips to jamaica and Cancun and to Europe all throughout the year and you're like I should be doing that and I got a guy who's complimenting me and you you you're just basically forgetting your vows and like man screw this I'm out of here I'm gonna start a fight and that's not that's not right people break up and divorce over silly reasons and 
this is a tale of what she's talking about and because we all aspire every black woman for the most part and i'm not saying every black woman <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm, let me take that back i'm not gonna say every black woman but michelle obama was a beacon of what many young black girls and black women aspire to aspire to be the relationship she had with obama was what they aspired to have this is what it is but you don't know what goes on behind closed doors with the the arguments the disagreements the depression what it takes to actually be with the man of power and even though she said she gave up certain things you know who would have known if she didn't if he would have ever became obviously he wouldn't have became president if she wouldn't have done those things but now she can go down in history and she can live a decent life for the rest of her days as we looking out from the outside in but ladies i always say are you willing to give this are you willing to do that to be with the to be with that man? Not saying that you have to build a man, but just imagine how much with teamwork, how much bigger with you just being a pretty face or just eye candy or just sex. I'm not saying that's all you ladies are, but just imagine if you were that Michelle to that Barack. But you, I mean, you can't turn a, 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 a Pookie or just any guy into a Barack. It just, it just doesn't happen that way. But at least try with a, with a man that is trying. You never know what could become of it just by you speaking life into this man and making him believe in himself and making him want to go hard and making him want to do more. You know, just my thoughts on him. Anyway, I'm done talking. Let me know what you guys think about what Michelle was saying in this whole 50-50 thing. You know what I mean? I, I don't agree with the 50 50. I agree with when we talk about this whole thing, we say either you, you were all in or we're not all in. We can we can do this whole hypothetical percentage thing. But at the end of the day, we go into relationships, we go into marriage, we go into these things to give instead of take, man. So anyway, I'm done. Let me know. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours. Truly purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. It helps to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Listen, if you got any crazy stories on relationships and dating, please feel free to forward those to me. I love to hear them. I'll be also giving my commentary on them. Won't mention your name. I'll be giving my commentary on them on my channel if it gets chosen. And, uh, you know, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Email them to me or send them to me via DM on Instagram. Check it out, man. This is wisdom. Much blessings and abundance. I already said. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen. And that's where I'm going to see you guys at. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's beat maker. And I don't know. I'm going to put the light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth. Them